All right, so here we go. Please Gold medal final. As we are going to welcome the archers to the field of play. Justin Hewish, Greg White joining you for this gold medal match. USA Archery 2022 US Open here at the Greater Chester Valley Sports Complex in Malvern, Pennsylvania. Justin, who do we have coming up on the field of play? Well, we have Brady Ellison from the United States. And we got Nicholas Dumore from the Virgin Please Islands. Welcome both archers. And uh, this is going to be a really good match. Nicholas both these guys Dumore. are highly ranked world in world archery and are definitely titans of the sport. This is not your typical local national Ellison. bout going on here. <laughs> this is this is pretty incredible. Nicholas Dumore, of course, from the Virgin Islands, Olympic recurve since 2017. His first time shooting the U.S. Open. Uh, he was in the 2020 Olympics in Tokyo for the Virgin Islands. He lost in the first round. He's also been yanked in the World Cup Finals. So his resume pretty stout. As for this guy, I think, is he new on the scene? Yeah. Is this his first tournament? <laughs> no, of course not. This is Brady Ellison, an absolute legend in the world of Olympic recurve archery, and not just in the United Sp States, but worldwide. Fellow Olympian, Justin Hewish, back in 1996, of course, Brady Ellison, multiple World Cup. I mean, the resume is just long and distinguished, is it not? Yeah, we don't have enough time to go down his resume. Yeah. But let's put it this way. When you line up next to him and you get the sh you were shooting against Nicholas earlier today, when you line up against Brady Ellison, it, it definitely creates a new mindset. X. Looks yeah. like our first arrow of the day, even when this win, is going to be a 10. Yeah, that's what you have to do against Brady. You can't let any openings for him at all. Nine. So, you were shooting against Nicholas to get into the this gold medal match. You won bronze earlier today. Nine. And what's weird is when you're shooting against a competitor, you kind of never keep an eye on him, do you? You definitely try not to. It's not a good thing to do to Nine. look down at their target and especially if they're shooting well, it'll apply way more pressure. You know, sport of archery is something that you are competing against another person, but at the end of the day, you're just competing against yourself and shooting your own shot and trying to just to hit the middle. You can't really control what they do. So what are you seeing so far out of? Looks like a 10-10-9 from Nicholas. Yeah, I know that, but I mean, what are you seeing from his shot? The guy's looking pretty good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, it's solid. As opposed to this guy, he's a solid shooter, but early on advantage. Yeah, it's really not much you can tell from that exactly. Uh, Brady will c do the necessary corrections here. He's probably filling out the win, like I was saying in the match before. You, you know, you got to give them a little bit of slack on the first end, and then we'll see what he can do right after this. Nicholas, of course, you, you're shooting the 10-10-9. That's what you need to do against Brady. You get it. All right, so let's talk about feeling out the wind, okay? Is this an instance where, because it's slightly gusty here, is it a matter of aiming off of, of you know, maybe moving the bow side to side, or are we talking side adjustments here? They're not going to make any side adjustments. This is going to be aiming off. You know, they were over on the practice field just now, and they thought they got a good feel of it. Um, but when, sometimes when you come over here, even if it's only 100 yards away, there's a, quite a bit of change. It could be the sunlight, it could be the wind, a few things. So you try to just aim off the way you were prior to in the practice, but if it goes off a little bit, you got to make the necessary adjustments and go from there. For those that are new to archery, can you explain a little bit about what aiming off is? So if they were aiming at the 10 ring and they're drifting into the 7 ring, low left, you'll just naturally aim high right and let the arrow drift into it. But in a day like today when the wind is just changing so much, sometimes it's really difficult to peg it exactly. And so you kind of have to, it's a guessing game sometimes and that's the, the beauty of this round being outdoors. So here you are, gold medal match, recurve senior men here at the 2022 U.S. Open. Put us in the mindset of these athletes with the wind the way it is right now. Does it add to the stress of it? Are you happy to be in this position? How do you feel and what do you think these archers are thinking about? Well, Brady's definitely going to, like just right now, he shot the 10. He's, ten, he's just building it out. He, he wants to just shoot his shot like he just normally does and try to apply pressure back on Nicholas. Um, some people are better wind shooters than others and they'll take confidence of that and some people don't like shooting in the wind and that sometimes will make them shoot worse. So it just really depends on each person. Nine. 
Nine points on that one. See Nicholas just looking really solid there. 20 year old who turns 21 relatively soon. Putting a nice one down. Justin, I'm watching you watch these targets. And when these archers in these conditions, which is varying, I mean, a moment ago we had wind. Oh, Ooh. oh come on. <laughs> Dude, under X. extreme pressure, you're going to drop a 30 at 70 meters with an Olympic recurve bow. Absolutely incredible shooting. The biggest thing for me is is the fact that when we started this end, we had a wind that was blowing from right to left. Then all of a sudden it stops, and the flags are actually gently blowing from, from left to right. It is tricky out here today, and to drop that 30, what are your, what's your impressions? Like we were watching him, he, was just look, he looked really solid on his shots there, so I don't think he had any real issues at all. Sometimes when you're shooting and you're aiming off and you might shoot a soft shot, you can get two wrongs to make a right. And, you know, in the sport of archery, that doesn't matter. You just want to hit the 10 and beat your component. It doesn't really matter how it happens. Spectacular high-speed camera shots as to Nicholas's release. Looking as smooth We've had 30 out on that there. End. And obviously, it DeMore pays off a with a nice 30. But just like that, 4-0. Yeah, he, yeah, he's up 4-0. And that's exactly what you want to do when you're shooting against Brady. Apply as much pressure as you possibly can shooting a 30 down there because you know he can hear that it's a 30 he knows what's going on and that's exactly what needs to be done when you're shooting against a highly competitive competitor like him so we're in set scoring system which means that each end which is every time we shoot three arrows it's considered an end in archery whoever scores the highest amount of points gets two points per set unless the archers tie then they split one one so obviously the first two sets go to Nicholas Damore Brady Ellison now trying to come back Nine. from behind because the first person to six is going to be the gold medalist. They're going to win the 2022 U.S. Open here for USA Archery. Ooh. Ten. That's six out of seven tens he's shot so far. And Brady's really not shooting that bad. He's just kind of just a little bit outside the nine there. Oh boy. Nine. Brady Ellison is running out of points. 10 right here is going to be. Oh. 10. Wow. Some days there's just nothing you can do. The other guy just has your number. But it's not too late here. Brady still can make a comeback. That eight's not going to help. Eight. If he puts it in the gold, Nicholas DeMore is going to be your Seven to win. Oh, no, oh my gosh. Ten. Ten. Another 10 and a gold medal. That was an amazing performance there. <laughs> wow. He only missed one? Just one nine, that's it. One nine and three ends. That, that is spectacular in this wind. Wow. Nicholas Damore, the 20 year old, the pride of the Virgin Islands, comes here to Malvern, Pennsylvania, faces the juggernaut that is Brady Ellison, and put a stamp on it. Look how clean that target is. I mean, that is like every archer's dream. One in the nine, all the rest in the ten ring. No question, no arrows needed to be called. Yeah, I'd be going down the target and taking that thing home with me. 100%. I'd be like, please, <laughs> can you guys hold on to that thing? i got to frame it so I can hang my gold medal right next to it. Wow. Scores are confirmed. The match a nice to nothing is Nicholas shot, Demore, 2022. and that USA is what Archer victory US looks like Open for the 20-year-old. <laughs> what can you say? Uh, dude, I mean, it's absolutely nuts, right? What a move. Well, Nicholas, I mean, I don't even know what to say on that one. That was unbelievable. I mean, <laughs> one nine in all tens. Congratulations. How are you feeling right now? I feel pretty good with my performance. Uh, definitely the wind was playing some tricks, but I think I managed it pretty well. Um, had a little discussion with my coach before coming out here. Didn't feel super comfortable with my semifinal or quarterfinal, and um, I'm glad I brought my best here. Um, yeah, I, I really wanted that win. I was working really hard to make this win happen, and um, I'm glad I had some clutch shots in the end and was able to make it happen. 
some clutch shots at the end. That's kind of a funny way to put it, but look, you're going up against a juggernaut, you know, obviously in USA Archery, Brady Ellison. Did that play a role in your nerves at all at the beginning of the match? Because, I mean, you started things off as solid as you can. Uh, no, I don't really have too many really uh, nerves regarding Brady because, you know, I've, I've competed with him before. We've been in World Cup matches together. He's gotten the better of me twice now. Uh, one time last year in the World Cup in Paris, he beat me in a shootoff, and then this year in the uh, second round of the World Cup in Antalya, uh, he beat me. He beat me 6-2. So I was glad that I could uh, settle the score a little bit better and uh, shoot my best here. So I was glad with the with the performance in the end. Well, congratulations! You are the 2022 U.S. Open champion, and you get to wear that gold medal a little later on today on top of the podium. Congratulations! Thank you very much. Have a nice day. You too.